have uh have just entered the last chapter of this of this ship the last chapter the last issue we left off by uh but the our, our batman getting fucked over <laughs> his plan getting fucked up everything went wrong in his plan so let's see what happens next let us begin issue number seven. Oh shit here we go here we go moment of truth <clears throat> Have you ever had a moment when something that seemed so complicated suddenly just made sense? When you just got it? Because I see now <laughs> happiness. True happiness is when you become the person you are always meant to be. When you stop fighting and just accept it. When you throw off the illusion and mask and just be yourself. And for me, that moment is right now see i was right wasn't i letting the old bruce go becoming the batman who laughs it feels good doesn't it brother yes and you thought i was the bad guy <laughs> Once the light on the syringe shows red, it means your blood is my blood. And I can use your plasma to make the last bit of serum I need to change this city into what it was always meant to be. But it means something else too. Doesn't it? Huh. It does because there can only ever be one winner. <laughs> That's right, my friend. I'm afraid when that light goes red, it's Goodbye. Oh my god, this is so badass. There's no there's no happy endings coming beneath the back cave. No last minute escape. This time, Jim. No, for years you kept him down with your false morals, your rules. <laughs> James, I'm begging you to but no more your knee is off his throat off my throat off the throat of this whole damn city wait this knee oh the, the knife james that's a knife that looks like water he's going for the knife get it for me I'm so proud of you. It's like watching a baby bat let go of the rock the first time, uncurling its toes, not knowing if it will fall or fly. I remember it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. The only thing harder is what I'm about to do. But to pass a torch 
to the next generation. Get it, James. I'll be, I'll be this city's Batman. You'll be my ally. Something better than a shit Robin. Be my crow. Be my bird of death. To live on through your progeny. That's the biggest win of all. Am I right? <laughs> and then there were two. This is it, Bruce. Fly high, my friend. Fly high and lead your world as its true Batman. <sighs> I will, brother. I will. Boom! You almost had me, Bruce. Let me guess. You knew any syringe I brought with me would be wainted. So you rigged a charge in your suit to turn the light red. When in reality, it'd still be green. <laughs> now, I don't know why you're not changing all the way. But I don't care anymore. See, I was the best friend you've ever had, Bruce. But now... Now, I'm just going to fucking kill you. You want me to? Huh. <laughs> now I have a better idea. Let's make him the first one. See, Jim? Right now, the drones are on the way here to acquire what they think is an antitoxin from the reservoir to spray across the city. But that antitoxin is our serum. All anyone has to do is ingest it, drink it in, and they will become their best, darkest selves. Here, Jim, have a sip. Sorry, Bruce, but you lose again. <laughs> See, I will change this whole city. Know that I should die, because if you won't give me what I need to complete the serum, I'll just bring another Bruce Wayne here, and... No! Leave him alone. Who the fuck is that? Oh, the young Bruce. <laughs> well, well. I almost forgot about you. Help, help me, help me. Go on, scream. If you don't open eventually, I'll just have a J... I'll just have James use the knife on you. He can tell you how good it feels as he does. So, go on, open your mouth, call to your city, call to your friends. Call to your boy. James, please. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm good where I am. Oh, uh, come on out, Bruce. I'm a friend. I promise, I won't hurt you. Much. <laughs> die, demon, die, 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 and go back to hell, to the hell you came from. Uh, oh, Alfred is right there with him? Oh, shit. <laughs> you nearly had me, Alfred. Just a couple more shots. You know, I never told you how you died on my world. Shut your... You were the last one I faced. After everyone else, you were tough too. You raided the cave, the vehicles, all to kill me. Truth is, you would have won. But then... I managed to convince you there was still good in me. That your little boy was still alive in here. <laughs> and I trapped you in the sub caves. Made you scraps. Whispered to you all hours. It took over a year to break you, but break you I did. See, the joke is you're not dead on my world. You're still my faithful manservant, my most trusted ally. 
I never. <laughs> well, see you soon enough, won't we? Now give me the boy. Approaching targets. Never. You stay back, you abomination. You think you can save him? You've never saved any Bruce what <clears throat> I'll be. Why the hell aren't you changed? Just lucky, I guess. Ah. Well. Please tell me. This was it. Your big conscience after the syringe. Luring me here so Alfred shoot me. This was your great plan? No. This was. After our first encounter. I set trust for you in places only Bruce Wayne would know. Around my life. The cave. The manor here. Because I knew you'd make any fight personal for the soul of Batman. <laughs> you think a few tasers will <clears throat> Depleted uranium shell harpoons, actually, meant for incapacitating tanks and evil Batman. Still, for all your attacks, all your plans. The truth is, I prepared the hardest to defend myself against you. Against your argument of all the Batman existence. I'm the least happy, least effective, the worst. But I just looked into the dark myself and saw hundreds of versions of me. And the thing I realized is that by those standards, you're right. I am the worst Batman of all. And the truth, it hurts. Those harpoons are high voltage, by the way. It's the hardest thing when someone makes you see what you don't want to see about yourself. Drink, drink, or your son here will cut a hole in your windpipe. Isn't that right, James? You are the worst. You're a fucking joke. We all laugh at you. And maybe, but. You know who's a bigger joke than the worst Batman? The Batman he beats. <laughs> Martha Wayne, is that his mom? Ah, oh, come on, don't get folded. Don't get folded that easily. Oh, uh, why aren't you laughing? The drones are nearly over the city by now. Go Hey yo, if he won't drink, just use the knife on him. Go on, James, and tell him how good it feels, as you do. All right, you want to know that how it feels? Uh, what are you? <laughs> You're right about it all, brother. Letting go in this moment, I feel such happiness. You really want to know? Oh, please! Oh, don't tell me he's gonna get folded that quickly. Sir, your eyes. You're fully changed. Look at him, Alfred. Trying to run. <laughs> please, you must come back to. <laughs> oh, no. No more. It feels amazing. It's the best feeling in the fucking world. Initiate emergency dismantation. Dismantation. Everyone needs to feel this way. You hear me, Gotham? You hear me? Stop, James. James, it's time to <gasps> to stop his remote. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Come on, come on, and Thank you. Hey, bats.
Oh, it is his parents? Yeah, I assume so. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Look who it is. You're welcome. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Error circuit broken. System shut down. Uh, what the fuck is this? You're melting it down. Good. No more portals. And no more windows sent to that place. I'll be glad when the city is stripped of all its dark metal. And you, sir, the transfusion is still holding after two weeks. So far. I've never seen anything like it, like it, the boy's blood. It was like core plasma or some kind of embryonic stem cell, but made from you. The dark multiverse is a reactive realm. Every world there is created from the hopes or fears of someone here. It's like a womb in that way, brought here without any metal groundings. It's being, it's beings die. But, boy, he, I sent him back, sir. I managed it just before you woke. And I, I told him that on a night in the near future, his parents will suggest they go to the theater. But whatever happened, whatever they said, they should stay home. <laughs> so I stayed one, sir. At least that's something, no? It is. And sir, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Whatever the vile toxin was, you stayed yourself. You stayed Batman by force of will. You, not by force of will, Alfred, by sleight of hand. I don't understand. Joker, I knew that he likely rigged the original toxin in his heart before all this to give me more time than anyone assumed. Sir. I listen, I listen to me. That's not when Joker woke here with you. He kept saying one thing, you're breaking my heart. In ancient times, the court jester with the slowest wit often wore a broken heart insignia. Heartbreaker is also a term for a joke. That's funny, but takes too long to land. Now the fact that he was able to function given all the drugs you pumped him pump, pumped into him all of it suggested he'd added some kind of mass declaration agent to give me just enough time see issue number three no sir you won because you remain true until those last moments contrary to everything you said about being the worst of them I meant what I said. What? I meant every word. What I saw when I stood here and started into the dark. All those versions of me. The ones who impress their will on the city and the people. The ones who give up Batman for love and amb or a bit ambition or grander plans for change. They are more effective in changing the cities, and they're happier. Sir? No, the hard truth is they're likely better Batman than me for Gotham. A city that was built on secret plans for conquest, for winning. I thought Gotham was one thing, but it's just not. Maybe everyone would be happier with them as heroes. Happier under that serum with the whole burden of godness goodness just gone he can't be saying i'm saying he's not wrong about us alfred that monster locked away in in the dungeon of the hall of justice he's right he's a nightmare nothing more a nightmare is built on truth that's joker talking use your fear that the joker is right about the world that's all no, Joker says that to accept that there's no meaning in your actions is to win. I say to believe there is meaning in all your actions is to win. That demon, what he says is that 
There's no meaning in your actions. Therefore, the only meaningful act is to win. Here's the fear that we're both right, Joker and I. The fear that without any grander meanings at heart, we are cold, animalistic, selfish things. <clears throat> then, if he's right, where is the bloody hope in any of this? Where is the light? Sir? James? I'm coming, Dad. I just need to change it to my oranges. They brought me too big a size, but I can. Just listen. They're, they're not taking you back. I called in, and the truth is, I want this to continue. I want you to keep going where you're already. It's a good thing. Dad, so you know, I'm not where I wanted you to think. I was not yet. It was partly a mask. I mean, I'm, I'm not there yet. So, you know, son, neither am I, but you're trying. And so am I, and so is everyone. Damn. Ah, uh, I can't believe he folded in. I can't believe my idol in the DC universe folded in. <laughs> Where is the light, Alfred? I don't know. I've been wrestling with that a lot lately. But the Batman who loves spoke about learning from a bat. He said that a bat being the only mammal that can fly is an example of what we can achieve if we embrace our primal, primal nature. But maybe it's the opposite. I mean, look at a damn bat. Look at a damn bat. A bat isn't designed for flight the way a bird is. The, with hollow bones and feather wings. For wings, he uses its own flesh, stretched between fingers that reach too far. A bat's flight is about defying what comes naturally, achieving what's hard, what's painful, but sublime. And for better or worse, that's Batman, isn't it? He says defying your nature, defying everything to be better than you're supposed to be, day after day, night after night, I think I've always known that, at least I knew it, when I was that boy running in the yard, happy in the arms of people I wanted to be like when I grow up, when I grew up. So thank you, Alfred. Because the truth is, Batman isn't about knowing who you are, but who you want to be. And in your way, you've always been there telling me so. I'm blushing, sir. Hey, yo. What? I want you to know something. What I was trying to say earlier, I tested that the toxin that changed you and found no decelerating agent in it. That's impossible. Is it? Maybe you didn't change because, well, because you're Batman. Alfred, Alfred. <laughs> no one hates that clown more than I do, but what better joke to play in the end? than to take credit for something Batman achieved himself. Come now, sir. That's the best you can do. I mean, I know, I know Batman doesn't laugh, but still. Hey, watch you, man. Sorry, sorry. I'm laughing on the inside. Old friend, on the inside. Commissioner, are you okay? You don't look so good. Fine, cadet. Fine, in fact. Uh-oh. What the fuck is going on with this dude? Never better. Huh? What? The horror continues in Batman slash Superman number one and stores August 28th.